Good morning everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching today and looking to trade on the 19th of March in 2019. So without further ado, guys, I do not want to hold you too long this morning. Let's talk about what the U.S. stock futures are looking like right now with about 25 minutes left to market open. We can see here the S&P up nearly $10, up about 0.35%. The NASDAQ composite up about 30 points today. So far, up about 0.41%. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average right now, guys, up about 100 points, up nearly 0.4% at the time that I'm recording this video. So everything right now is pointing to us open in green here in about 25 minutes and us pushing green for at least the first couple of hours of the day. Sure, the futures, they don't paint the picture for the entire day. They just paint, you know, how we're going to end up opening and how we're going to potentially push for the first couple of hours, maybe the first hour, two, three hours in the market. So as of right now, that's what I'm seeing, guys. I'm seeing that we're going to be pushing green. The futures are up and a lot of the large cap stocks that I follow that are in my watch list are up as well. So let's hop into my think or swim and talk about what stocks I'm watching today here, starting off with FedEx. I'm actually just simply watching FedEx today because they do have an earnings report here after the market ends. So about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that is when FedEx is going to start reporting their earnings. So why am I talking about this since I'm probably not, well, most likely not going to trade it today? Well, this has a huge impact on how the global economy is doing because FedEx is a shipping company, right? If people are ordering goods, you know, FedEx is one of the companies that delivers those goods to people. And if we see in their earnings reports that they're not delivering that many goods, there's not that many people ordering, that's obviously going to give us a hint that the global economy isn't doing so well. It's weakening, right? But if we see that orders, their revenues are up, they're growing their revenues. You know, a lot of people are putting in orders. A lot of shipments are being made. This gives us the hint that the global economy is doing well, right? It's still a bit strong, right? Which is a good sign for the stock and for the economy in general. So I'm honestly going to be waiting to see what their earnings are going to be here after market hours before potentially trading the stock tomorrow. I don't trade stocks before earnings reports, guys. That's just one of my uh, rule of thumbs here with my personal philosophy and my trading strategy. But let's say tomorrow, right, we do get a good earnings report. We break out of the 185 resistance here. I think that's going to be a huge, huge, huge bullish move for FedEx with the next resistance target at about 210 $10, which if it did fill that gap, guys, that is a solid 12% profit margin, you know, on FedEx. So that's one that I'm watching today, all day for the price action and for the earnings report, but I'm looking to put money into it actually tomorrow or some point later on this week. So that's FedEx, guys. Uh, ticker symbol FDX. I really highly advise you all to just keep an eye on FedEx today. I think it's a very important stock for today and of course for that earnings report. So one other one or a couple of other ones that I'm watching today, um, one being the UWT and the DWT inverse ETF combo. They trade based upon crude oil. So whenever crude oil is going up, UWT is going up. Whenever crude oil is going down, DWT is going up. So crude oil like we've been talking about over these past couple of videos here in the market updates, the trading updates, has been trading between 57.75, the old resistance, which is now a new support, and the next resistance at about 61-ish dollars, which is obviously the new resistance, right? So we notice now that crude oil is kind of hovering in the middle of this channel, making it kind of tricky right now to trade. Are we going to continue to push up here to reach the $60 level, although the RSI is a bit overbought, or 
Are we going to end up pulling back a little bit, bringing down that RSI, making it a better buying opportunity for UWT? So I'm just simply going to be watching the direction we're going to end up pushing here in the beginning of the market. Are we going to end up running up, getting closer to $60, which is going to tell me that UWT is going to be the play today? Or... Are we going to start to see some give back here? Maybe get into DWT on a quick little day trade before continuing the push up or rather, you know, confirming the uh, the reversal, confirming the bottom, which we would be able to get into UWT at this point and then slowly starting to push back up. So there's a couple of different scenarios that can play out here. The RSI doesn't 100% indicate that we need to pull back, even if it is extremely overbought, but it is something to keep an eye on here, and that is a little bit worrisome for me in terms of trading um, UWT today. And we can see UWT is at a level where it is overbought, and we can see it's already pushing up here pre-market hours. It hit 1785. We're pulling back a bit. So if we were to pull back, you know, maybe another percent or two, you know, that would be a good entry point, in my opinion, for today in terms of UWT. So Tesla is actually another one I'm watching today. Today, Tesla's getting slammed. It's been getting slammed here over these past couple of trading days. And we noticed that it hit a hard resistance at that 180 SMA here a couple of days back on the 14th of um, March when it was at about 292 per share. And now we're all the way down to 265. But the thing I'm noticing here based on my technical analysis is that we're at a support level based on this little wedge pattern that I drew here for you guys. So a couple of things could end up happening here, right? This morning, let's say we end up holding this support here and slowly starting to push back up. This could be a potential play up to the 50 moving average, which would be at about $280 to $275. And if you do that little margin of profit little thing here, you can see that that's about a 5% potential move. And if we break out of that 50 SMA to get to the 180, you know, that could be a potential 8% move in Tesla stock if we successfully hold the support that I've drawn out here by the trend line and we slowly start to confirm the push up. But of course, let's say we break this level, which is very possible, very very, very possible, especially with Elon Musk, the SEC, everything that's going on right now. You know, that's not going to be something I want to see for a potential trade. And if we draw out some support levels here on the 180, you know, we could be headed back down to $250 per share if we do end up breaking that level in Tesla stock. So keep an eye on that. You know, if we end up holding this, it could be a nice little bounce back play, especially since we're oversold here on the RSI. Just some, uh, you know, food for thought, just to think about it. You know, this is something to keep an eye on today. Tesla stock, ticker symbol TSLA. And another one I'm watching today, guys, is natural gas. And, you know, we trade DGAS and UGAS, bull and bear ETFs here that trade on the natural gas futures. We notice right now that natural gas is seeing some resistance right at the uh, resistance here at about 290, and we're seeing a red candlestick start to form. The RSI is starting to curl down a bit, and it's already overbought here. So this could be a point in time where A, we're either going to start to pull back, which is going to be a good play for DGAS, the bear ETF that goes up whenever natural gas sells off or B, we could end up breaking out of 290 into the 292 levels, 293, the mid 290s, which would obviously be a good play on UGAS, which is the bull ETF that goes up whenever natural gas goes up. And at that point, guys, if we do break this level, look to see if we're going to end up holding 290 as a new support and slowly start to fill back up to $3, which would be the next resistance on natural gas. So those are two ETF combos I'm watching. Very interesting today, and I'm definitely going to be playing one of those depending on what the direction that we're going to be seeing here in the futures pre-market. Well, really, we're in pre-market now at the market open, what we're going to be seeing in terms of the you know direction 
you know, in those futures. So those are the ones I'm watching right now, guys. Of course, I'm keeping my eyes peeled on the marijuana stocks like ACB, Aurora Cannabis. This one's very overbought right now. You know, I really wouldn't put money into this right now. Me personally, you guys can do whatever you guys want. Of course, do your own research. But at this point, I want to see a pullback, like I said in yesterday's video and the previous couple of videos, down to at least 950, maybe 960. I think it's very possible that we do see, you know, a maybe a six, seven percent pullback in ACB, bringing that uh, RSI down a bit. That would make it a better entry, in my opinion, and that's what I'm watching for today in terms of Aurora Cannabis. <clears throat> Another one we were talking about yesterday was Walmart, which is about to hit my price trigger here. I believe pre-market hours, it's up a decent amount. It's up to about $99.95, and I do have a price trigger here at about $100, which if we do end up hitting that, and we end up holding $100 for a little bit as a new support, you know, this is going to be a very good play, I believe, up to about $104, up to about $105 per share. And actually, let's talk about Facebook stock very quickly today. I almost forgot. It's looking like Facebook stock's actually holding the 160 level as a new support here, and it's looking to push up to fill the gap back up to 170 so facebook today guys it's very very interesting i'm thinking about trading facebook if we successfully start to push up in the market open towards the market open and maybe into you know a couple hours into the market i think this is going to be a very good play but i just want to be patient with it because i don't want to get faked out i don't want to you know hop in right at market open it do something like this you know push up a bit right and then end up pushing down. I don't want to get faked out in that sense, which is why I'm just going to be very patient with Facebook. But if it does end up holding 160, I think it's going to be a really good play. You know, if we do end up pushing back up here, uh, you know, up to the mid 165s, up to 170, I think that's a very, very solid play in terms of Facebook stock. So I'm going to end off the video here, guys. Just a couple of stocks here that I'm watching this morning Facebook, Tesla, UWT, DWT, DGAP. As you guys fed X. I'm watching that one all day. These are just a couple that I'm watching today. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys are actually watching. And while you're at it, Hit that like button if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more morning updates on the channel. Make sure to hit that like button because that tells me that you want to see more morning updates and that you do enjoy these videos. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you all in the Discord group chat. Have a great one. Peace out.